let's say what it says we are given two integers left and right which represents the range left to right and i have to get in the bitwise and of all the numbers in this range which means if i have the range 5 to 7 so i have to get the and and operation and operation of all the numbers from 5 to 7 which means 5 6 7 i have to get and and them up so the first basic approach which can come to our mind is okay what i will do is I will have my answer initialized with the left value and I know from left to right I have to iterate on all the numbers and keep on doing there and I will simply do that and get the answer. Okay, great. What is the time capacity of this? It, you are using a for loop from left to right. So you are going on to all the elements from left to right. So you will iterate on right minus left plus one elements or roughly I can say you will go on to right minus left as the complexity now if you go on and look back look if you go on and look back your right and left left smallest value can be zero right largest value can be 2 to 31 so roughly complexity can be 2 to 31 which is nearly equal to integer limit which is roughly i can say 1 e 9 which is very high as a complexity so this will not work this will not work now i have to find something now whenever in the binary questions when, which means whenever in the bit manipulation questions or you have to convert the number in binary or apply any binary operation for example in this i have to apply and operation it's very highly recommended please convert the numbers to binary and then start thinking what you have to do okay so what i will do is i'll firstly convert all the numbers to binary now when i say all the numbers please take a bunch of numbers and then convert that to binary so i took the numbers from 0 to 15 and i converted that converted all of them to binary and then randomly i put okay left as this right as this although for your use case in the future you will see i have just fixed in right and then i can like make your left variable so as to verify that the answer which we will bring in will actually work for all the ranges what I mean by that is that in this I have told you okay left is 6 right is 13 but in future what I will do is I will say okay left is anything left is anything it can be 2 it can be 6 it, it can be 8 it, it can be 9 it can be anything and then right is let's say fixed for us right now then I will tell you okay for all the ranges how you find the answer but okay no worries right now let's imagine that okay your left is fixed 6 right is 13 randomly we have picked these two numbers what we have to find we have to find my task is from left to right all the left to right all the and values so i can simply say and and like first is the right value then right minus one then right minus two then right minus three up till right minus like last value which is left i can say that this is the operation which i want to find this is the and thing which i want to find and i'm i have written this exact same thing here itself now if you look back closely just see the first thing what is right and right minus one have you heard of this if you not if you have not heard of this so basically right and right minus one again if you have not heard of this please even if you write in your notes or do whatever you want but remember two concepts or two facts about bit manipulation again you have or you can prove it and i'll prove it also right now but please remember this for future so that you don't have to prove it again and again and yet it should be on top of your head every time so right and right minus one what it does it it removes the last set bit from right and that's a very important operation and again the same the same can be the same can be done by n minus equal to n and minus n this we saw in the previous video yesterday's video in which like only right on google on youtube sorry lead code 268 by Arimuthal or write 268 missing numbers by Arimuthal. You will get the video right here. Watch this video to actually understand the entire intuition or basically proof behind this approach. But and again, this also performs the same thing. Remove the last set bit from N. But the next variation, which in the in this video also I told you, there are two ways to solve it to, to, to remove the last set bit. There are one, there is one more way. Other way is that N and N n and n minus one by this again what will happen is you will remove the last set bit again but how i will remember this bro simple if you just can visualize how n minus one should look like or basically what is the n minus one operation then you will for sure always remember it how let's imagine my n again i took a random binary number one one zero one zero zero now what is n minus one as an operation n minus one which means n i copied as it is as it is from top and then i will 
put a minus one i have to subtract a one now in the normal mathematics term when you have to subtract you take a carry right so if i have to sub subtract from this zero okay i don't have a zero like if from zero i cannot subtract a one I, I need to have a higher or equal value so i need to take a carry from the first two number i have to take a carry from the first number which is present so what i will do is i will grab the first from the left i will go on and looking for a number who can give me a carry and the first bit from the right can give me a carry so he will become zero and then all of them okay one and then like this it will become a two and then when i'll sub subtract it so it will become a one one and the zero zero one one now that's the reason i told you focus on that it is giving you from where it is getting that from where all these numbers got the value it all these numbers got the value from this first bit which was set from right first bit, first bit which was set from right it got so so basically what happened was in the n in this n first bit got removed and then all the other bits which were zero actually came up and became one and became one so what will happen again now again if i do an and operation between this n and n minus one i know this part is untouched the left part is untouched so i know the left part is actually a one one zero the right part i know the first leftmost bit which was set has actually become a zero now and other bits have become one but i know i will do a and operation so okay if if it was zero it has become a one it, it it was one it has become a zero so kind of i can say the entire left portion will be a zero so i can simply say one thing that this entire left portion will give me a zero 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 and the sorry the entire right portion will give me a zero 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 and the entire left portion will be copied as it is so what happened because of this because of this n minus one n minus one the last set bit got reduced to zero and other bits got made to as one but when i did an and operation because all the other bits were zero which were actually made as one so this actually became a zero and from one i made a zero so it also made a zero so basically the, you can easily see that the last set bit last set bit has become a zero so that is the reason i can simply say by doing a again this was the n last set bit was this i just did a n minus one i made the bit as this for the zero it will be a one one again a zero and operation one zero and operation zero so all these became a zero so i can easily say that from this original number to this final number my last set bit last set bit was actually made as zero so with this operation with this operation n and n minus one so my n actually i remove the last set bit from n again now you remembered how to actually remember that okay because of this operation again let's say if i ask you bro um what is the most intuitive way if you want to tell to remove the last set bit you will say okay are in last set bit removal which means bit needs to give a carry to other number to carry which means i have to subtract subtract what minus one so if i do a minus one from n so the last set bit will actually become a zero and will carry and and will give carry to other numbers which is after him and with that i can easily say okay it will become a zero so with this fact you can easily remember that by this operation you will get the last set bit as zero now when you have known this simply you know one fact you know one fact you have removed the last set bit but you also know one fact you have removed one bit you have removed one bit now coming on back to our operation right and right minus one same way from right left i'm just i'm just doing an and operation so if i do an and operation right here i know one fact for sure that out of 30 because i know i know i have at max 32 bits in my right i know i have at max 32 bits in my right in that in this one operation itself i removed one bit which means you remove the last set bit whatsoever bit was last set in the extreme right you just remove that so out of 32 bits in your right and you know in your right out of 32 bits you actually removed one bit are in how is this useful bro can't you think that now rather than going on to let's say entire n numbers you can just make sure right that you go on to just 32 bits and keep on reducing one one bit each time oh that can be a great improvisation how simple so uh, let's let's come back to our main example we had our n right here i know i have to do n again remember this as a n like let's imagine it as a n and we just keep on reducing that which means i'll do n minus one this is n minus two and so on and so forth so i'll simply say n now first will be n minus one 
which means n n n and n minus 1 so i'll do a n and n minus 1 n is 13 for me n minus 1 will be 12 and you can for sure see the last set bit from n will be removed by this n and n minus 1 operation so you can see the last set bit is removed now the number formed with you is 12 okay 12 now it is a new n which means okay this you are right now here new n one and operation you have performed are in but what what was the use case we are again going sequential which means earlier we did n and like we earlier we did 13 and 12 now we will do now you by your method we will do 12 and 11 still we are going linearly bro hold on just hold on just a minute so by this n right now my n is 12 which means 1 1 0 0 now again you will do a n and n minus 1 by fact you are doing a 12 and 11 but you also know that you are just removing the last set bit by this operation so this bit will be removed you actually get a value 1 0 0 0 oh bro now you got a 8 so now your n is right here bro what happened all these value got skipped which means you must like you might have done n like 13 and like might number 12 and 11 then 11 and 10 then 10 and 9 then 9 and 8 all these are not required but are in why not required because bro it's an and operation if if this if this operation has given a value 8 which means if this operation has given a value as 1 0 0 0 now no matter if you apply these operations or not the value will never increase because and operation just reduces the value it never increases the value which means i can show you also if this and gave you a 1 0 0 if you do a and with this see it's a one extra right it's a one extra so your 8 can never increase it will just still remain 8 if i do a and again with this again here is a one extra still 8 will still remain 8 because and operation never increases thus you can simply jump back to your this operation thus you will apply this operation only when you have bits because at every step you are reducing one bit and you know at max you have just 32 bits so again what will happen is your n 8 n is here again you will do a black same operation 8 and 7 which means n and n minus 1 so you will do 8 and 7 you know again you have to remove the last set bit okay remove the last set bit now you will simply get a 0 0 0 oh which means you simply jumped on back to a 0 Aryan, it makes sense completely makes sense but uh, your question was from left left was this right was this okay from right you started off your number so for sure um, you are getting some values but uh, your n was last time here and then directly jumped to here so what is the answer is the answer this is the answer this what is the answer bro that's the reason i told you in the beginning that i will keep my left as variable so as to make you sure that all the conditions are satisfied right now when my left is at six you will see that ultimately he has to come up to this point ultimately he has to come up to this point so while while my right is more than my left i'll keep on applying this operation and what is operation operation is simple super simple right and right minus one which means removing the last set bit and also this is what the problem also requires us which means right and right minus one and right, right minus two and right minus three and so on and so forth so i'm doing the exact same operation what the problem is requiring and then applying that to right and then keep on repeating that because I have to keep on repeating that until I reach my left. If you remembered, I have to keep on repeating that until I reach my left, right? So while my right is more than my left, keep on repeating this operation. So in this case, you will see your N was here, but yeah, still it, it was your right. Right is still more than your left. Still, you can apply the operation. So when you apply the operation, your right went to zero. Directly, it went to zero. So you can simply say that, okay, it has been to zero. So basically your loop will stop but then your right has reached to zero and that is actually the answer because with this with this simple operation and operation your value will become a zero and that's your answer also now aryan uh, what if uh, what if my left would have been exactly at this location oh if your left would have been exactly at this location so when your right again when your right right would have said okay right is eight now because you, you remember i am just putting back to right so right was in the beginning 13 then i applied that now right became 12 okay right became 12 now i applied that right became 8 right became 8 which is equal to left again on the equal condition also the loop will break so it will not go so in this condition itself i my loop will break and the answer will still be 
last right and you can see last right was 8 itself so answer is 8 now Aryan, what if uh, the left is let's say at 9 no worries bro no worries still still at this operation itself your left has become 8 so your right your right has become 8 then it will go to right still the answer for this left right range will still be 8 so i'm just simply doing one thing i know ultimately i had to apply this operation right and right minus one and up till my left so i know i have to go up till my left so while my right okay where is this gone yeah while my right is more than my left keep on applying this simple subtraction operation but i know i can optimize because i know okay this will remove the last bit i i know i have only 32 bits simply get that done apply like put that to my right and get the answer and keep on repeating that so this loop can go at max 32 times because in the worst to worst case my right can become a zero and my left limit is actually a zero because left lower bound is zero itself if you go back left lower bound is zero itself so it can go at max 32 times that's it cool by this fact you can simply ultimately return the right many people also write right and left but and left is not required because your left would have already your left would have already passed your right which means if your left is rare right is here in the very beginning right is after left so left is going back going back either left would have landed exactly at left so either right has landed exactly at left or your right had landed at back of left now when something is in the back of you it is already smaller than you and and operation it never it actually always decreases so right if it is landing here and left so right will always be this one that is how i can simply say that this will be my answer so time is nothing but o of 32 which is o of 1 and space is o of 1 itself code is exactly very same a while right is more than left right equal to right and right minus 1 and to a right many people will teach you there are three observations there is another way to solve it which are three observations to solve it which is the most pathetic way to go about this question cool thank you for watching bye goodbye take care